In the previous lesson before this one, I showed you how to create a home page, how to use Timely to render a HTML page and be able to use a controller file to call that page. And that is what we have here. Now we are going to now do something more interesting. We are going to use, uh, use the data we have in the system or the data we already have that we used to uh, view as JSON, we are now going to display this data on this page using Timely uh, uh, template engine. Now, this application is running, so it means if I visit uh, HTTP, okay, uh, uh, sorry, let me, let, me, let me just come here. Instead of going to home, I'll just go to locations. So you can see we have a list of locations. We have a list of users and a list of other things. So we have users, uh, we have posts, we have uh, posts, doesn't work. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that. Let's, let's not worry about this for now. Let me try students. Okay, there is nothing there. So now let's display a list of locations in a HTML page. So let's follow the procedure. So this the procedure is here, as you know. Let me shift this to make some room. All right, so the procedure continues from here, okay? So now in this home page, we are going to add some kind of navigation bar in this home page. So let's go to index.html. Now, instead of wasting time, I actually have written um, parts of the, the, the markup that you are going to use to create this navigation bar. Now I have TH, the href is equal to add post. So these are the names of the items that are returned from the controller. So let me display it and I go on, I go ahead to explain it to you. So what does this mean? So we have TH, href is equal to add posts. So this add posts simply are uh, simply refers to more like you're saying slash posts. It means if you to visit this post, the, the, the page in this link, you go to slash post. To visit the, the students page, you go to slash students and so on. So that is just what it means. It doesn't mean anything much about this. So the only point is this item that I enclose in Colibrex is, is also understood by the controller at the controller end. So at this point, I'm going to save and let's view this page to see how it appears. So I'm going to relaunch it and let's see how it appears. If it displays perfectly well, then we are going to now copy this page across so that we use it to create other pages uh, along the line. So let's see, everything works fine. Okay, so you have Tomcat started. So let's go to uh, to home. Okay, so this is what we have. We now have a navigation. But if we go to locations, we see that it comes to <laughs> locations. You see, it displays a list of locations. If we go to posts, oh, I, I have to correct this, this problem before I continue because I don't like seeing errors. Let me go to post, post controller. So it's actually it should be rest. Okay, I already adjusted this, but um, okay, let's not let's not worry about this for now. Let's not worry about post. We are going to fix it later on. Anyway, so if we go to slash users, you see it gives a list of users. What we want is actually to display these items on a web page, okay? So let's start with locations, uh, locations, right? Let's start with locations. Yeah, so let's start with locations, fine. So first, let me create a page that is going to handle locations objects. So I'm going to go to the HTML page. I'm actually going to copy and paste this index and just rename it location because it is almost exactly the same thing. So I'm going to copy and just paste it again. I'm going to paste it. Uh, where is it paste? Yeah, paste. So I'm going to call it location or locations or location either way. Let me let's see the name. The name is what is locations. So locations.html. 
So if I go to locations of HTML, let me just instead of saying welcome to Timely and say I'll say manage locations. Okay. Um, I'm going to save and I simply feel like running it to make sure it's working. Unfortunately, um, it might actually not work, but let's see. So I think Tomcat started fine. So if I go to this place, let me refresh the page. And if I go to locations, it also gives us uh, these locations. So it actually does not work because you can actually navigate from one page, HTML page, to another page without passing through the controller. That is a problem of, that is, a, that is, a, that is how views work. You can't move from view to view. Views are controlled from the controller. So controller actually renders a view. So you can't just be creating views linking to themselves. And so it has to go from the controller. So we are going to go to the controller that handles this link. So the locations controller says what is going to happen when somebody visits slash locations. So somebody has visited slash locations, as you can see. So what is going to happen when somebody visits slash locations? Before now, we have that it's going to it's going to return a list of locations. Now let's go and change it so that instead of returning a list of locations, it's going to return the view called locations.html. So I'm going to go to locations controller at this point. So I'm going to go to um, locations controller. Where is it? It should be this locations controller. So this is it. So I'm going to make a couple of changes. One, uh, if you are going to be returning a view, it has to be controller, not rest controller. Okay, that is one thing you want to know. So once, if a user visits slash locations, it returns the locations page, right? So first I'm going to return locations. So it's going to actually be in quotes, right? Perfect. And also, we are going to return a string, okay? Okay, so basically, this is what we want to do. So at this point, if a user visits location, locations is going to return the locations page. So I'm going to test it before I continue to do something else. So at this point, this locations now refers to the locations page. So it's going to actually find the location view and render it. So, hope everything went fine. Let's see. So, Tomcat, please start. Yeah, Tomcat started. So, I'm going to now come here. If I refresh this page, you can see that it goes to locations page. So, it doesn't now, it doesn't give us list of locations anymore. It gives us locations page. Now I'm going to change something again so that we actually pass the list of locations to this page. So to pass a, a list of locations or an object or a variable to this page, before now we know about you know about path parameter, you know about session variable, URL query string, and a different ways you can pass things across to a view or to another page. In this case, using time lib, we are going to be using a model object. So a model is is an object that you use it to pass items to the view. So remember we have model view controller. The model is containing the data. The controller is simply controlling things that happen like sending data to the view from the model. So the model uh, is an object that we want to send to the view, right? So the model contains the data we want to send to the view. Now I'm going to check exactly um, how it works. Yeah, so the first thing we want to do is to, is to pass a model a parameter to this method get all locations. So I want to pass the model parameter, right? And the next thing we want to do, now we have list of locations that we've calculated. So we have a list of locations here. We now want to pass this list of locations across. 
using the model object. So to do that, you simply say model dot add attribute. So now you specify the name of the attribute you want to add, locations, and you specify what you want to add, the list of items you want to add. This time we are adding locations, which is this list. It's a bit confusing, but this locations here is what we are trying to put, and the name of the variable that we are sending to the view is the first one. So the second one is what data do you want to put there? So we are trying to sign locations across uh, after enclosing the call braces. So this model here that we give as parameter, don't forget to do it, is very important. So at this point, the locations has been passed across to the view. But the next thing we are going to do, we are going to go to the view and capture this location uh, object that has been passed in. So I'm going to simply copy what I have here. So I'm going to display it as an ordered list. So to do that, you, you need to use uh, uh, an ordered list, so bulleted items, uh, as you can see. So you have th.h for each location in locations. So locations is the variable that contains the list of locations that has come to this view. So we are going to iterate through it, say for each location in the list of locations display the location name so this name is it is a is a member variable of the location entity so have location name have id uh, i just like to remind you so you have this location entity you have name and id so that is what you are going to specify if you want to display that data on the, on the page so this default here, maybe I'll, I can take it out, or maybe I can leave it. So I'm going to save and I'm going to relaunch this application and let's see what we have. So at this point, the locations object is passed by the model to the view. And in this HTML page view, we now capture these locations. We use each to iterate through these locations, and for each of them, we are displaying the name of the location on the page. So let's see what happens here. So Tomcat started perfectly. So uh, if I go back home, I like to go from home to location. So there is a home page. Now I'm going to go to locations. So at this point, you can see that our locations have been added there. It displays as a list. So what I'm going to do uh, quickly, I want to go to the, to the H2 console to add one more location and see if it updates here. I actually have not tried this before. So let me go to localhost at port 8080 and I'm going to go to H2 console. So I want to actually add one more location and see if it is going to appear. So let's see. So let's go to the location. So at this point, if I say run, so let me just say a bit so that I will not waste time. So plus, I'm going to add location 3, and location 3 is going to be California, USA, that's where I actually go. So accept, and that is fine. So let's go back to Timely, and let's refresh this page, and you can see it automatically updated. Again, it's also interesting that if I come here to delete, it's also going to affect this page. So I'm going to stop here. We've actually added list of locations here. Uh, again, there are things left to be done. We are going to do in the next tutorial because if we come here and we go to list of maybe uh, not list of students, if we go to list of uh, users, we can see list of users and have location ID. We have actually done good relationship mapping here, but now I want to display this item in the web page and be able to do uh, some kind of select where kind of so we are going to display list of students list of uh, posts list of users in other pages and this we're doing the next tutorial so please subscribe and also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you like this video and share it around and we'll see you in the next class